So first, I'm going to do the skin. Put the skin. She's a very light skin. So I will use the pale peach and the this one. She's darker. Tiny bit darker. And first, I will start with the skin always because um, if not, uh, you can when you're doing the skin when you do the skin after the dress the skin gets dirty with the color of the dress so that's the first thing wow. ya quité el yo ya quito todo del baño latina todo okay. let's do it really quick and I first will put like the base color here a base and yes two months ago and we'll put less color here because it has like transparency there just want to like make clear that I have skin there and then I will use the Prisma color for the rest of the skin so I can give the shadows to it under the chin side of the neck Bone. The chin, the chest, the ear, the shadow, and on, on top of the eye, the side. But never too hard, just very slightly. So, Robert, you can sit here if you want to watch. Very like, not soft. If you if you do too hard, it becomes too graphic. And when something becomes too graphic, uh, graphic on the paper, it doesn't look like natural. So you need to avoid that. Or avoid hard lines like this and this. Avoid this. You're not coloring, you're pretty much painting. So you will take another shade of pink. And same story, very lightly. Can you see it? Can you see it too? Light. No. So you have the color for the skin. And this is just a quick. Um, quick. Um, we should bring them pizza or something. A quick demo about how to make it. So I'm gonna put that. Then I'll put the eye. I'm put the white of the eye. I'll let that dry. Then I will take the. Um, I think I have a brown. I have what I do for the like the eyebrows and um, hair. I try to use. Um, gel pencil because it's, the color is kind of like better for this so you give the expression with the eyebrows you give you give the face some character angry or whatever and then with this with the with this thing you do the eyelashes You need, you need to do a lot. You really have the rest of the eye, and I will take when it's dry, the white part is dry. I will take a lighter color to put it there. 
Oh, yeah. And then you can put the iris. I can already get that. And then the white reflection on the top of the eye. And then when you have that, when you map map that out, um, you take the um, you take your your pencil, which I don't find. And then I will take the pencil, and then I would um, draw the side of the features. Like the only hard lines that I'm going to use, like part of the chin and the ears and the neck and, and the nose. You know how to do this, but I'm just trying to show you the way that I kind of do it. Then this kind of marker is really helpful because of this point. I don't know. It shows. You do the lip. The same story. You will put some pencil on top of that. So it's darker, the top part is darker. And the one at the bottom, and then I will take the jelly, the, the gel pen, and I will start to lay out the hair like that, like this. Just you're doing like each hair, just so and you do the little bun on the back, and let that drop. So now that you have that, you can actually start drawing the whole dress because as I said if you do it if you do the the dress first and the skin after the skin will look dir dirty because of the um, of the color of the dress and then it's a very this is a very light color but my pencil just dropped Help me, Robert. Thank you. Yeah. Same. I will use this. It's the um, blank collier. Yeah, something like that. This is very, very light. And I will um, only like, literally put put it on the top. It's too light, probably. Like, it's super light, so, I don't know if I can do it, but put, put down. Yeah, you can put this. You can do this, like, directly on the paper. Do the draping lines. Just with this, just the draping lines and the shadows. The light on the picture comes from here, so the shadows are going to be in this side. So... You do this. Like this. And you have this draping line that in your layout, like in your in your initial drawing, you put the draping line. So you, you only transfer them with the marker. Transfer them and the shadows. And then again you put some color in here. And then you will um you will take that marker and you will fill that in with the light with the lighter yellow it's like a like cream color it's kind of the same shape okay. on the picture you don't have to do it like perfect Do some of the leaves because you're going to need that color there. Super easy, like messy. It's drawing is messy. If you, if you want to do it perfectly, it's never going to show. It's never going to show. Then I will take the white prisma color, which which is super small. Super super small. Thank you, Robert. Super super small. 
and there's it's the picture is showing you that is that she has like a like a satin or like a taffet on the bottom or something like that and it has like a lighter chiffon or whatever on the top so this is going to be the chiffon this is going to be the transparency so you will follow what you already draw all the shadows just do, doing this you're going to try to fill it in You will try to fill it in, whatever it's the white spots, with this. And then, in your in, in my Prisma colors, I don't know if you have Prism, the whole box, but if you do, you will have this one. That's very close to the color that is on the picture. So, just fill it, fill that, fill with that color, whatever you feel, you need like a pop of color. Like some of the draping lines, some of it on the on the on the train, some of it that easy is not big science. And if I take the if I take it from the paper, you can see it's not super hard. It's very light, very very light, and that's what you want to achieve because it's a wedding dress. But you're doing a wedding dress with warm and col warmer colors. And then there's this color. It's a light yellow. And you will do the same. In the darker places, you will try to not to make a hard line. Just like to just fill fill the parts in. Because that's going to give uh, the shadow. For the shadows, I will never use a black color. Because even though this looks black on the paper, black here, it's actually a blend of colors. It's not black, black. Total black is this. This and this. But this is a blend. It's just a darker gray. Same with this dress. It doesn't have black. It's, it, it has like grays and browns and yellows. So, you will only like do this. This is your shadow. This is, this is going to create the shape of the dress. Shape of the boob, the waist. That's all. That's all that is going to... That, and with your white, you will do the transparency here on the top. I don't, sh I don't sharper this a lot because the white is like a blender. And when a color has a lot of, um, like a point, it's harder to blend colors with it because it can break. And this is, and these are very expensive colors, so you want to avoid them to break. So if you remove it from the page, you already have the layout there. See, it's it's super easy. So then you're going to take a brown. Now I will take another shade of yellow, darker yellow. And I will do the same. Avoiding this, never do this. Try not to do that. You're not drawing in a color book. You're 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 trying to create something in 3D, and that's a mistake that Rigamon does. Like she never ex actually explained that because the doing this and doing this that's going to look like a cartoon, and you want to avoid that. So. In shadows, the shadow is never going to look like this, like this, like lines. When you look, when you look yourself, you don't have lines here. You have a blend of colors, so you need to re replicate that, like this. 
not hard, soft. You have to try to go from a darker color to medium to lighter, and that's it. That's a shadow. That's what I'm trying to do here. And then you have another draping line here, and this draping line in here, and this draping line in here. Then you have a layout. You have a very good layout here. At this point, when you get to this point, you already you 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 have your dress here. You can even just like put like the pencil here if you don't have the time i will just you have the pencil here and the pencil here and take the, the yellow here and just try to blend that in and you have something in here i will try not to do a hard line in here but just like a degradation with that like this and this like you're trying to make it look soft and part of the part of the skin and then again you will take the white and you will put it on the top that is going to make everything everything's going to blend with the white it's going to look lighter it's going to be, it's going to, if, if you look into the page, it's going to look like thick, but it makes, it makes everything nicer. Everything blends better with the white. And you're doing a lighter color, so it's important. My white is almost over, but see, see how these lines disappear? It's because of the white. So this is, this is just making all these hard lines disappear. And they look like they're part of the peach. And when and when that happens, looks more natural, more like fluid. Then you will take your dark brown because this is going to be your black. And you will like do this with the black with the brown. Sorry. And this is. in here and some in here as you can see that's that's making that's shaping the, this part of the dress and shaping all those draped lines and all that color that you have there it's shaping everything better and this is going to give it the shine that has in the picture and again you will blend it in with the white Blend it, blend it, blend it, blend it. See how it changed? It's, it, it changed because now it's the, the white is there, making everything lighter, but it's, it's taking weight out of, the, out, of the, out of the lines. And you will take your pencil, and you will try to lightly, on the drape lines, you will do this. Move, moving your hand like this like if you were petting the petting the paper with the with the pencil and do this and do this and do this line very 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 light lines and here where the where the where the where the skirt meets the train you will do like a harder line here like a C and another C and another C like longer C's and here you will do an S 
and another and another S. Here you go. It's almost done. For the top, for the bottom, you have like this and this. You will go just go like this. Don't try to do this that she does. She does this like this. That's never going to show in your drawing. Like it's just stupid to do it because you will blend it in and it will not look natural because this is too hard and hard. So just go like this. And here you will give it shadows. Here, and you're gonna add a shadow, a shadow in here, and you're gonna add another one in here, and another one in here. And you will bring the brown in. For the edges of that shadow, you will put the brown, some brown in here, and some brown in here. And you will put a shadow in, a shadow in here, and another in here, like this. And then you will take your white pen, your, your white pencil again, and you will blend it in, like that. Make sense? Here again, and then here, and here. There you go. That's it. Again, slightly, slightly, slightly. With the pen, you will follow those. With the pencil, you will follow that. And here, for example, you have like this kind of shape. You have like a like a Y, and you will do the you will do one of the yeah, yeah. the legs of the or, Y, and the other one very slightly, yeah, and then you go a little bit graphic here, and there, and here, and there. And you have the transparency on this leaf here. This is done. Like you can leave it in here, you can go, you can continue this that I did here. You can continue that here on the bottom. And you can go like super detailed with it, but I'm trying to do it faster. You already see what I did in here. Just repeat it on the bottom. And for this leaf, this leaf is like this. Well, you have your, your preliminary drawing on the bottom. So you will color that in with this. Put the white in. You'll put some white in here. And that's it. Take your brown. No, not even your brown. Take, take your darker yellow. And that's going to be your shadow. And just leave. Like that. Like that. Like that. And again, the white. It's a leaf. It's a transparency, so you don't need a lot of brown. You could put the brown, but just a little bit in here and just here on the on the joints. This is where you have like shadows. When and this is where she has shadows. She she has some shadows in here. If you wanna if you wanna put them, it's very very light. Very very light. And she shows. A little bit of pink on her sleeve of her skin so you can put that that pink with the pencil don't do it with the marker if you do it with the marker it's never going to blend in with your drawing it's not going to look like the skin see looks like that you will put the the graphic lines in there and then you have this you have like the transparency in here and you will be like hard on it hard and then you will put some lines on it and there it is it's done it's done and then she has some she has flowers oh well she has the um, this part of the bodice in here it's marked so I mean my 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 you will do this just mark it just mark it like that you can put some yellow on the bottom it looks part of it like that 
something like that. And that's it. That it's everything you need. You don't need you need to you don't need to do more for that lines. Same in here. Here's the structure of the dress. Same. You don't need to do a lot. Just put a little bit of gel in there and that's it. And this dress is very costumey, so you don't need the structure and it's very simple, so you don't need to do a lot. She has some wrinkles in here, so you will do some S. S's in here and some in here. It's very, very light. Not like this. Not like this. You're doing like this. And it's like kind of not even touching, kind of not even like touching the paper. I don't know how to explain. And then she has the flowers. You don't have to go into a lot of details with the flowers because I don't think you have the time. You just do dots. Some darker dots. And don't change it don't change the marker same if you're doing this color use the same color for whatever thing you have to do there's flowers on it you can draw the flowers if you want some dots in here some dots in here of another color the pink one. See, no, nothing hard, nothing too severe. Another color. It has pastels on it, so you have to put like this, or you can do like a little, little dot like this. Like this. And darker one so it has more like personality more shadows there you go that's it and you continue like that and that's it that's how you do this dress super super simple nothing too hard try to go slowly because obviously it's like new oh I almost didn't finish the hair take the darker yellow and just fill Whatever is not on the, whatever is not filled with the gel pen, just fill it, and with your pencil, just give some shadow, quickly, faster, and that's it. She has a veil, another another picture. She has like a veil. If you want to do the veil, just bring the bring the white like this. Use the white like this. Do random lines. Where's the other bell? Use this one because she has the bell is kind of the same shape. And just did this, like this, and like this. And some dripping lines. Very, very, very lightly. There you go. There it is. That's, that's how it's going to look. So. I hope it helps. This is just like basic, so good luck.